God has a good plan for your life, but sometimes you have to realize that faith without work is dead, and that is why the Bible says you have to work out your salvation. It is very good to trust God to help you succeed, but what's not good is if you are not making any attempt to make things work. Can you remember when God wanted to feed the 5,000 people that followed him? He asked, what do you have? And the disciples answered, only five loaves of bread and two fishes. And it was with that little thing that God used to feed 5,000 people to the point that 12 baskets was remaining. The question here is what do you have that God can multiply? Go out of your comfort zone, find something to do no matter how small it is, and see how God is going to bless you. In the world today, people want a job where they will just go to the office, sit, and be paid at the end of the month. But what about creativity? Successful people do not only think of working for others, they want to be their own boss, so they strive to use their hands to make that come to pass. The Lord says, I will bless the works of your hands. It is good to work for someone, but it is far more better when others work for you. Therefore, try to think outside the box and create something that the world will see it useful. The cars you see today was created by someone. Phones, computers we use today were created by someone. You can also create something if you are only determined in your heart. The Lord created us in His image and likeness. Therefore, you can do what our Father has done. He created the whole universe and if you were created in His image, it means you also have the ability to create something. Do not see struggling as a bad thing because it comes with a reward which is success. You have the ability to make your life better. Whatever you want to happen in your life can come to pass if you struggle for it to happen. Do not allow the devil or anyone to deceive you that there is a short path to success. People that follow that path ended in destruction. You have a lot of people today in prison because they want to succeed the easy way. A lot of people have gone into various unspeakable things because they do not want to struggle. Do not envy such people because their success will never last. There are a lot of people that made it the right way and through the help of God, you can also make it. Do not give up because of the present hardship. Fix your mind on the reward. See how God will help you achieve it. You also need to have a positive mindset. If you think you will never be successful, then you will never become successful. But when you see yourself successful, you will surely become successful. The Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is so. If you see success as something not achievable, then you will not achieve it. However, I want you to know that it is the Lord that blesses a man, and if God blesses a man, no one can cause him. Therefore, in your struggle, put God first, Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and every other thing will be added unto you. This means that if Jesus is your foundation, be sure that your end will be great. God will make His face shine upon you if only you obey Him. Therefore, this is the time to come close to Jesus so He can also come close to you. Our God is too pure and holy to behold sin. Light has nothing to do with darkness. If you are still living in sin, you will not go far in life. Do not think that you have a lot of sins that the Lord cannot forgive. He says even though your sins are as black as charcoal, you will make them as white as snow. God is waiting for you. He does not want you to perish. And if you seek Him first, whatever you need will be given to you. Your struggles will end in success. You will not work like an elephant and reap like an ant. Whatever you set out to do will be successful. You will be fruitful and you will multiply. You will live to eat the fruit of your labor. I want you to know that your latter will be greater than your former. You will not die small and you will do exploit. Do not get discouraged by your background or circumstances that surround you. The Lord will make His face shine upon you and He will make a way but there seems to be no way. The Lord will elevate you beyond your wildest imagination and you will be successful in everything you do. 
because he will be with you in all the way. All those people that thought nothing good would come out of you will come back to celebrate with you and they will be put to shame. Your struggles will end in success in Jesus' name. You will receive favor wherever you go and experience multiplication in your life. Whatever you lay your hands to do will surely prosper and you will experience joy, happiness, fulfillment like never before. All those blessings that have been written in the scriptures will find manifestation in your life. Yes, all will be well with you because God's blessings are in your life. God's blessings are all encompassing and they include every aspect of your life. Consider the spiritual blessings you have. The moment you gave your life to Christ, you receive a new identity. You are no longer a slave to sin, but have received a new name, redeemed by the precious blood of Christ, that change of position from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light is a great blessing in itself. You now have eternal life and should not be scared of condemnation. You have become a new creature and your story has been rewritten. No longer will you stumble in darkness trying to find your way. Rather, the light of God will shine upon your life and lead you in the path that you should go. Where you are seated in Christ, there is no pain, no guilt, no fear, and no death. You now have life in abundance, and the powers and principalities that once held you bound are beneath your feet. When you are blessed spiritually, you have access to the things of the kingdom. You have fellowship and communion with God, and it is from this point that all other blessings flow. Your eyes of understanding are enlightened, and you come to know the high calling of Christ upon your life. You live a full life that is void of the pressures and worries of this present life. Because you are seated above with Christ, you are at an advantage and can see far ahead. In your physical life, you will experience good health and longevity. Psalm chapter 91 verse 16 says that God will satisfy you with a long life and show you His salvation. The arrow that flies by day or the terrors by night will not touch you. Pestilence, plague, diseases will not come near you because you have God's protection over your life. He will guide you you and keep you in whatever you do. He will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. He will build an edge of fire around you such that you become untouchable from your enemies. Sickness will not have a hold over you because you have access to God's healing. A life lived in health and wealth is a blessing from God. You are covered on every side and have no fear whatsoever. Moreover, God's peace will guard your heart and mind. Financially, you will experience God's provision like never before. He is Jehovah Jireh and you can be sure that your needs are catered for. Silver and gold belongs to Him and He will give to whoever He pleases. As God's child, you cannot lack or suffer any good thing. He will make your way prosperous and give you success.